VA in Pursuit, brought to you by the Paralyzed Veterans of America. Welcome back to PVA In Pursuit. Tony Revis along with Bob Malinati. On this month's Coca-Cola Up Close, we have come to the Moreno Valley Aquatic Swim Meet outside Riverside, California. The Coca-Cola Up Close brought to you by Coca-Cola Classic. Always the real thing, always Coca-Cola. We're here to meet nine-year-old Rudy Garcia Tolson. Born with a rare congenital birth defect, which has left him with a cleft palate, a club foot, and legs permanently curled in the fetal position. Well, after deciding to amputate both legs at age six, Rudy has begun growing as an athlete, and he has grown mightily. His streamlined aquatic swim coach, Nikki Shelton, puts Rudy through the same program as all the other nine and 10-year-olds. Um, if it's a day where he's in the pool for an hour, uh, they could go as much as 3,000 yards in one hour. Uh, if it's a more of a high-quality workout, they might only go between 2,000 and 2,500. And if it's a longer day, they may go as much as 4,000 yards. Rudy just completed the 50-meter breaststroke, taking five seconds off his personal best. That's Rudy's dad, Ricardo, helping him from the pool. Like any other athlete, Rudy has high aspirations for himself. And my other goal in swimming is to go to the Paralympics in the year 2004. In, in what events? Um, swimming. What events do you want to go for? Um, 100 breaststroke, 100 free, um, 200 I am. Yeah. Rudy's a sixth grade honor student at the Crestmore Elementary School, where he has not missed one day of school in over three years. Now, Rudy's not just an excellent student and swimmer, as we've seen, but he's also an aspiring runner and triathlete. We caught up with him at the Mission Inn run in Riverside, where he was competing in the kids' one-mile run, wearing bilateral flex foot prosthetics, which cost about 20 grand a pair. And as you'd expect, the person most proud of him, Mom. I think um, after he had his surgery, there was like something inside of him wanted to come out. And when they amputated his legs back in 94, um, it just like his wings spread open and he just flew. And he's flying and he's inspiring everybody. Rudy's mom tirelessly drives him five days a week to a pool in Rialto where he swims for an hour and a half each day. You know, it took 15 operations before Rudy finally told the doctors to cut those legs off so he can live like a regular kid. Now he's got goals, not just in swimming, but running as well, and they're pretty impressive. Well, I'll get used to it, and I'll be able to do like a 5K or 10K. I heard that you competed in a triathlon and that you swam the swim leg of, of the triathlon. Was that a lot of fun? Yeah, it's fun. Uh, my really partner, Mrs. Terry, he done the bike and the run. And I got to swim, and we got first place. It was kind of beyond motivational. I do triathlons on a weekly basis almost, but never have I had a little relay partner, double amputee relay partner, waiting for me in the transition area. I was so scared I was going to flat. I was so scared I was going to let him down. Uh, we got really lucky. I got him in the pool, you know, up there in about the top ten, and he just smoked everybody. The, the little kid can really, really swim. You spend any time around Rudy and you're taken by his natural showmanship and his charisma. It's like the loss of his legs was the gain of his life. Yeah, his first six years, all he did was stare out the window wishing he could climb the tree in the front yard. Now there's nothing he can't do or that his mom doesn't expect. We have four children and he's, we treat him no different. He's equally treated. He's got all his chores, everything the same as other kids. Um, he cleans his room, he cleans his bed, he cleans his desk, he does his homework. He's got to do it every day, just like all the rest of them. Dad Ricardo still carries Rudy to the starting blocks because Rudy's still perfecting getting his prosthetics on and off fast enough to walk there himself. It's one of the few assists Rudy still needs. I got a great respect for Rudy as an individual, not only for uh, achievements, the uh, that he um, has done in the sport field, but also for his academic uh, achievements. He has not missed one day of school in more than three years. And I really, I think that's a great, a, a great um, achievement. For a kid that has no legs, not missing one single day of school, that's, I have a, a lot of admiration for that kid. 
Building up to next year, Rudy hopes to do a 1.2 mile ocean swim as a part of the Jim McLaren Challenged Athlete Foundation Triathlon. Can you imagine that, Tony? 1.2 miles in the ocean. Well, he seems to have a very natural swimming stroke, and he's got that sort of enthusiasm which doesn't quit. He's right there with the able-bodied swimmers, and that's only part of his agenda. I want to play baseball. I like to play baseball and football. What positions? Um, I want to, but I want to play maybe t uh, tight end. For as young as he is, Rudy presents some wisdom and insight well beyond his years. He has a motto which sums it up pretty well. A brave heart is a powerful weapon. Good boy, Rudy. Way to go, Rudy. Congratulations.